Turning now to the latest from the State House. The Senate Judiciary Committee was supposed to vote on a bill aimed at protecting abortion rights, but then at the last minute, the committee's chair transferred the legislation to a different committee. Highly unusual move comes with the hopes of saving the bill from being rejected for a second time. I have a news reporter Brandon Truitt is live at the State House with a look at what's next. Patrick and Danielle, good morning. This move is unprecedented by many here. And this is all stemming from a lot of anticipation building up from that meeting. It was a last chance for the Senate Judiciary Committee to move this bill forward, and it just did not happen last night. The chair of that committee is Senator um, Aaron Lynch Prada, announcing moments into the meeting that she would be moving the bill to the Committee of Health and Human Services. Senator Prada says the move comes after she caught word Republican Senate leaders were planning to vote the bill down. Republicans were planning on using their ex officio powers. It's a law letting all members of leadership vote in any committee. And last night we heard from one of those Republican leaders who was planning to vote it down and from the Senate president who approves the transfer of the bill. We have a committee process to stop bad bills. This is a bad bill. This is not right. This is murder. I think it's a good piece of legislation. I am not a supporter of it. Uh, but I felt that it should go out to the floor uh, where more than nine people had the right to discuss this, this particular issue. Senator Prada says she believes the bill is likely to pass the Health and Human Services Committee. There is a hearing scheduled for that. It's coming up tomorrow at 6.15. That's the latest here live at the State House. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.